I'm going to address the different attack and defense lines uh, from the set piece in this next little clip. The diagram is an illustration from uh, a scrum. And what you'll see is the attacking line here is the yellow line. The tackle line is the red line, the advantage line being the blue line, the offside line being the dotted red line, and that defensive line being the green line there. What I really want to uh, emphasize in this diagram is where the tackle line is. Okay? The chances of uh, the attacking team getting caught behind the gain line is usually more likely. And what you'll notice in this tackle line is the wider team tries to go on their, their form of attack from that set piece, okay, the more the chances of being getting caught further and further from this advantage line. So as a team tries to get wider, you'll see that that um, lack of advantage line success uh, increases there. Okay, the objective of any team on attack should be to get gain line success, right? To get to this blue line or to get to pass this blue line should be the objective of any team on attack. And you can see if a team tries to get wider of, it, of their attack with the set piece, it's more likely that they're going to get caught on that tackle line and be further and further away from that advantage line. Okay. Remembering again that if we get gain line success or get past the advantage line, we can then have the 15 on seven principle then coming into play, which then will take these eight forwards out the game because they would then have to run backwards to get back on sides again. It should be our objective from the set piece is to get gain line success and to be more direct and to have an approach where we look after that linear space first before looking at being a lot more lateral on our attack from the set piece. I'm hoping that that's going to be a good explanation on the different attack and defensive lines. Thank you.